this tutorial, you will learn how to make Ableton's EQ8 a parallel dynamic equalizer. Many people pay a lot of money for dynamic equalizer plugins, but I'm gonna show you how you can get one for free. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. Okay, so doing this is actually really easy. So we need two things. We need a source track and we need a destination track. The source track is the track that you want to blend in. The destination track is a track of which you take away some frequencies to blend the source track in. So in this case, I'm going to use drums and a bass line. And often when you're combining drums and a bass line, some of the low frequencies can clash. So for example, the bass line in this case could be taking away some of the punch of the kick, which is not what we want. So that is why we are going to blend in the kick, which is going to be our source track, into bass, the destination track. So I'm going to drag these around so the source track, the kick, is on top, the destination track, the bass, is below it. And to do this we need 5 steps. Step 1 is we need to load EQ8 on the source track and select the frequencies that we want to blend in. So since the source track is the drums, I'm going to load EQ8 on this, you can ignore this one. And in this EQ8, I am going to look for the most important frequencies of the kick drum. So we're gonna loop this and look for the most important frequencies of the kick drum. So this one is pretty important, so I'm gonna put it back to zero decibels. And I'm gonna look for a second one because I think there is another one. this one. So we have 59 Hertz and 129 Hertz. So the next step is to copy this EQ to the destination track, which in my case is going to be the bass. Again, you can ignore this EQ. So we have the same frequency ranges on both tracks, the drums and the bass, the source and the destination. And we also want to copy this EQ to an empty return track. You can also do this without return tracks, but the reason we use a return track is we can make this parallel and it's going to allow for a better fade in, a better blend in. So now I'm going to label this return track low. The reason I do this is because I'm going to use the low frequency band first, which is band 3, which is 60 Hz. So we're going to select the range of this EQ. So we're going to remove this band and introduce those bands to really get the range of this band. So now that we have the range selected in which we want the dynamic EQing to be done, we're gonna add an envelope follower to this track. Envelope follower is a Max for Live device, so you need Ableton Live Suite Edition in order to use this. So now we need to map the envelope follower to one of the frequency bands of the destination track. So in my case, this is the bass. And I'm gonna map it to the third band, which is my lowest band, and map it right there. But you can see it's gonna take the volume all the way down, which is not what we want. So instead, on this envelope follower, I can invert the range. So instead of going from 0 to 100, I can make it go from 100 to 0%. But you can see that this is still too much. We want this to be flat, so I'm going to set this to 50%. And now the fifth and final step is to route the source track to the return track. So the source track is our drums, so we are going to route this to the return track. And you can choose for yourself how much you want to route this. So now if we play both kick and the bass, you can see the EQ on the bass is actually starting to duck in the frequency range that we want. We can change this how we can change how narrow this is either by changing the Q and we can change the frequency range by adjusting this frequency band. And you can adjust how much this bumps by adjusting the gain of the envelope follower or the percentage. So let's adjust that. You can see it's way more now. And now to do the same thing with the other frequency band that we have, we can just copy and paste the steps. And now you have turned EQ8 into a parallel dynamic EQ. If you like this kind of tutorials and you want to see more by me, please consider subscribing. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Thank you for watching. My name is Matt Flank. Peace out.